And a very warm welcome to the Spreadex World Grand Prix here at the morning Saturday in Leicester! <laughs> this is our second semi-final, it's the best of 11 frames, and it's time now to welcome the players. We begin with China's greatest ever player, with 14 ranking titles, he's a three-time UK champion, Enter the Dragon, Ding Junhui! <laughs> and his opponent, the most successful player in the history of the sport, with a record 40 ranking event wins and 23 triple crown titles, he's the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan! <laughs> You know, every World Grand Prix winner over the years has been a multiple ranking event champion. Nothing will change this time, but qu big questions remain. Will Ronnie O'Sullivan rock it through, ensuring England's Thank domination you, of the tour this season continues? Thank you. The first or will frame. Ding advance to the Ding climax and stay on course for his first ranking title since the 2019 UK Championship? As they break off, only one thing is guaranteed. Authentic quality, regardless of result. Thank you, Dean. Alan, there's a real sense of anticipation. Yeah, very much so. Good evening, everyone. This is set up for a fabulous match tonight. The fact that Ding is back to yeah, red first. Not his best. <laughs> but the best he's been Touching ball. in quite a few years, I think. He's going to have to be, if he's going to topple the great man, First examination falls to the Masters champion. One. What a start. He's been constantly complaining about his queuing all week. Looks pretty good to me. Six. Seven.
12. Lady Luck was very much on his side against Gary Wilson. Not there. Yeah, this is an awkward one. The good news is it's a natural backup table with a cue ball. In many respects, the most difficult of 13. the three spiders to use, the branding iron. And he dropped that white on a sixpence. Eighteen. Nineteen. Yeah, you got a visual there that the pink is going to be on to the, the same right corner when it goes on its spot. Eighteen. And it's going to be on also to left corner after this next red. Twenty-five. Only just checking, but it looks good. Twenty-six. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Average shot time in this break so far, a blur. Just a little contemplation here, because he's got plenty of options. He played that to the inch because... He didn't have to 40. play any sort of cannon. Not out of the woods just yet, though. Got to play one more good positional shot to set up this chance. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Fifty-five. What a way to make an introduction. Fifty-six. And he'll be keen to send a stern message. Securing the frame in one visit will do just that. 62. 63. Frame ball. <laughs> 70. 71. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. Already. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Playing like a million dollars, the man who's on course for the most 
lucrative season 86. in snooker history. 87. Ninety-three. Ninety-four. One hundred and one. Century number one thousand two hundred and thirty-seven from Ronnie O'Sullivan in his career, and on this evidence, there's plenty more to come. Yeah, it's been spellbinding from shot one. The long red was awesome. 108. 110. The blue to far corner you expect, but... 122. 120. Once finished off the Welsh Open final against Ding with a 147. 135. Tonight, starting out with a mere 135, the optimum blueprint for brilliance. The first hurdle with a plum, racing to a 1 0 lead. And talking of racing, there is Sir AP McCoy. Tonight, here, it's a celebration of. British sporting greatness. Thank you. The we talked about O'Sullivan's Sullivan. 1,237 centuries. AP McCoy rode well over three times as many winners as that. 20 times National Hunt champion jockey. Two geniuses in the same room. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to see another great man watching. I guess you could say the the going is officially good tonight <laughs> on the strength of that first frame. <laughs> also good to see another on tonight, a referee, Jan Berhas. Haven't been refereeing all that often, unfortunately. He is fantastic as a referee, a big fella. That was a continuation of the Gary Wilson look. If Gary's watching this, he's turning around to his wife, Robin, and saying, I told you he was lucky.
one. O'Sullivan had to pot a tough blue off his first red in the opening frame. Can Ding do the same? Yeah, this is a type of shot where there's a small question mark over Ding this blue to far corner. It's not his biggest strength. I want to put the mockers on this one. Let's see how he cues this. A little bit awkward as well. Anything to do with a cue ball, though, so that's a, a plus. Yeah. Nicely done, held the spot. That was smart. Or he tried to. Hmm. Six. Yeah, just the fact, I think, that it's a, a brand new cloth on the table. You get that extra bite. On the cue ball as did from there, but it's just a safety shot. Okay. Xin Chun Wei, six. You know, the great boxing promoters always say styles make fights. And one of the reasons these two always have good matches, they have complementary styles. So often, the snooker's been brilliant when they meet. Look at that. One. Fabulous pot. Now oh, and again. The gauntlet was well and truly laid down in frame one, but Ding so far Six. is standing firm. This is excellent. And good to see. Seven. There's that bite on the cue ball again. See that? This came back about an inch too much. He wanted the straight red. Good. Black back in its spot, Team. but he... Made this a little more awkward. Now this is a nasty one, a pink to right corner. Good thing is he hasn't even glanced at the safety shot. He's all in here. Got to get the pot though. Fabulous shot again. Ding's admired by Ronnie O'Sullivan for many Thanks. reasons. One of those reasons, he doesn't shirk the big shot. Twenty-one. Oh, 
by his standards, that was 28. a blunder. Underscrewed by some considerable distance. We always expect his wide ball to be under supreme control. Thank you. 29. Playing this for the, the red nearest the left corner. Nothing to do with the cue ball, really. Yeah, that's a great shot. Great choice of shot, that. Guaranteed to be on this red. And back in business. 31. Thirty-two. Thirty-eight. Yeah, lots to do here. Forty-four in front. Three pinks would be 65 in front with the five left, so he's at least going to need one of the five difficult ones. Yeah, we know the black doesn't go to right corner, so this is a real pressure shot, this pink coming up. You'd fancy it if you were right behind it, but he only has about one third of the pocket, I would say. So... Ooh, this is a nasty one. Trying to push the red on, the one that's right in front of you. Oh, that's fabulous. What a shot that is. All right. Hasn't worked out exactly as planned, but the signs 46. are good. Oh, yeah, 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 that's... <laughs> she was, what a shot that was as well. It's no surprise that Ding has responded like this. 53. Against O'Sullivan, he always seems to score. 54. Five times in the last five years, he's made two centuries in a match against Ronnie and lost it. 54. Of course, he made a 147. At the recent Masters, lost that. 61. 62. But this reply, Alan, cannot be faulted. Yeah, in some ways it's... <laughs> well, it's definitely it's at least on a par with the, the 135. In frame one. And the fact that he had to... Show Ronnie that he's up for the battle tonight. This has been outstanding. At least half a dozen top quality shots to keep this going. Seven. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight.
85. 85. What a pity. And the frame. Simultaneous and excellence in the first two frames. It's 1 1. We're in for a treat. A special evening here at the morning side for all ages. Ronnie O'Sullivan is a wonderful attraction, but his opponent is a wonderful Thank you, the player. Third it's a race to six, and even though O'Sullivan began as favourite, quite rightly so, you get the feeling with Ding, his career is moving in the right direction again. That was the reason for the grimace. The cue ball just travelled on and on onto the bulk line. Ronnie O'Sullivan won. O'Sullivan has already passed two tests of queuing. How about this one? Could be a very big reward. Six. Seven. <clears throat> Alan made the point it was a new cloth. That might have helped. Yeah, certainly did. Also interesting to note that he didn't play that with the left hand. Perhaps a small sign that... He means business tonight. I mean, he obviously does anyway, but I think that certain shot he would have played left handed more often than not. 14. Not tonight. Fifteen. Another ball that yesterday might not afford. Twenty three. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. 
36. 37. 44. 45. 14 seconds a shot for O'Sullivan. 47. From teenager to veteran, he's always been the same. Electric. 52. Should be another frame under lock and key. Yeah, I mean, I know the black was frame ball, but the positional side of that last shot was something to behold. 76. 77. All the flicks and tricks and kicks are all working out to perfection. One of those nights. I mean, he's had a lot of them. But 84. It's going to be like this 85. all the way to the winning line. Tonight, whoever gets there, we don't know. But what we do have is a wonderful snooker match. If he gets to three figures... 92. It will be the 13th 93. time, Alan, he's made two centuries or more in a match against Ding. The stats are just mind-boggling. 98. One hundred and one. Just popping out after this frame, Alan, to get my thesaurus. I've run out of superlatives. One hundred and six. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger table, something to stop the this kind of standard. One hundred and ten. Just incredible. One hundred and fifteen. One hundred and twenty-one. Quite simply, there's never been anyone better. And maybe there won't be in the future. Two, one. This season, Ronnie O'Sullivan has won two massive tournaments, the UK Championship and the Masters. At no Thank point you. in the those events, friend, in my opinion, has he looked as good as he does so far tonight. He's been amazing.
Yeah, I, I agree, Phil. He, he's obviously had a, an incredible season, especially of late. But the quality that you're looking for, it's, it's never been this high. I know it's only been three frames. But the quality of shot making and decision making, and you know, it's, it's all going on. I hope it continues, I'm sure it will. Anything you can do. Credit also to the crowd tonight. They're playing a massive part in this. People of Leicester and the surrounding area back this tournament. And they're here in huge numbers tonight and they're being rewarded. It's one of those matches, isn't it? You can feel the pulse in your fingertips out there. Reed goes on. From distance, he's been deadly. With his cue ball artistry, if O'Sullivan's knocking in four out of five pots from distance, the other guy has Seven. got one hell of a job. Yeah, as ever, straight away, he wanted the key red. And now that it's dispatched, the chance opens up. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty-four. <coughs> Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-nine. Forty. Oh, the last.
last half a dozen positional shots, although they've been, not been 47. huge in degree of difficulty, the, every one of them has been absolutely 48. on the money. Fifty-five. For once, a poor positional shot, and a red has saved them to right middle. He knew nothing of it. Fifty-six. So what was a minor blip? Sixty-three. Has been overcome, and he's set for three-one. The interval is going to arrive after 40 minutes of play. 71. 72. Come on, Ronnie, let's see. That's hat trick of centuries. 79. Ronnie O'Sullivan. What a shame. 79. Ding comes back to the table. But it's a forlorn hope. Almost non existent. 1. 8. No. Our own Neil Folds once made a break of 80 in a frame and lost it. Sorry, Neil. It's appropriate here. Now Sullivan's made 79. If he were to lose this, it would be extraordinary. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Forty-seven behind, thirty-five on. So if he could get one 32. snooker successfully, and a free ball, he could still force a respotted black. Ding Junwei, thirty-two. Problem at this level when you need three, four point snookers to peel, you actually need about 23. Worth playing on though for a few shots. <laughs> it's been a short session anyway, isn't it? Brown handy, black likewise, good cover in the middle of the table, so you just never know. He's already won one frame from nowhere this week, needed two snookers in the second frame against Ricky Walden. Got them and stole it.
so far in the match, you, you can't really say Ding's culpable of anything. He has a live pot success of 100%. of the session, hasn't it, Phil? Thunderbolts from Bolt. And there was another. Yeah, Thunderbolts and lightning fast. Well, with AP McCoy in the audience, Seven. in a snooker sense, from O'Sullivan, this has been the real McCoy. No. Nine and the frame. 135 for 128 and 79. With that, Ronnie O'Sullivan at the interval leads by three frames to one. He was mesmerizing. Please welcome back to the table your referee, Jan Mahaus, and your semi finalists, Ding Junhui and Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> First four frames took just shy of 45 minutes. Just uh, watching some of the spectators as they went out for the interval, just uh, clearly seeing something very, very special. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Frame five. The O'Sullivan fans hope Ding it will Jim continue. Ding Jun Wee, though, has plenty of fans himself, and they will be hoping for a recovery. He's not done much wrong, has he? But he finds himself 3 1 down. Yeah, it's a brutal nature of snooker where. Your opponents at the table point on the ball, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. And no matter how good you are, you can find yourself sat in your chair, helpless. Looking at the stats, they're just incredible. The first five pot success, Ding's actually 100%, running 98. The actual pot success, Ron is in 96 and Ding's in 97. Just have the 97% pot success and be behind in the match. It's incredible. It's like a basketball match, isn't it? It's like end to end stuff. Well, we're in the right venue for that, in fairness, the Leicester Riders. But uh, Ding here, he knows every chance he's going to have to make count. And he's in at the start of frame five. Yeah, basically the only way he can put pressure on Ronnie Four. is by basically winning frames in one visit when he's, when he's in now, for example. Thank you. Five. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's nothing new in a way. He's been on the wrong end of 21 defeats to us, some of them, some of them pretty heavy, but... You know, he's played good stuff himself this season. Twelve. Scoring is his game. You know, every player on the circuit marvels at his great building. So that's the question. Can he bring that out in the remainder of the evening? If he can, he could still win. Thirteen. If he can leave the cue ball somewhere where the pink is here, he may have a red to right corner. That's the reason he played for the pink. Pink will now go <clears throat> on the brown spot. Nineteen. Not sure if the two reds above the black, if any are pot potable to any of the corners. So on whichever colour he decides to play for here is required. 20. And that looks about perfect. Just to nudge the, the red that's above the black away. 
Leave the other one to left corner. I think it'd be fair to describe this, Stephen, as your sort of snooker tonight. Yeah, I don't think you'll get any sort of 50-minute sort of tactical frames with balls on the cushion. Well, these players, the cue ball's so good with both players that when they do miss, they're leaving you right in Pink. because they're always in position pretty much. This is a big shot of two cushions into the side of the pack. But if there is a weakness in Ding Jinwei's game, it's playing with extreme power. He doesn't time it as well as he does the other shots. This was very quick. So things opening came to just 28, not enough. Six. Seven. as he could get into the 12. cue ball there to get into the reds in that angle. He has got the red to right corner, as you can see. He's won three tournaments this season and at times has played superbly in them. But in terms of a sustained performance from first ball to where we are now, this is surely the best he has played this season. We saw it at the end of the UK final against Ding from seven each. He produced three incredible frames there. 18. Nineteen. Not ideal position. I need, I need a really good shot to get position on the next red from this blue. He has got an angle to come off the cushion and go into those five reds. And he decided to play for the single one. The strike was perfection. Twenty-four. He refuses to leave the table until the frame's won. The potting tonight has just been well, just a different league. Into the five reds. Pretty much perfect. Potting had the chance. He missed the pink. That pace, trying 20. to get into the reds. And it looks like he's going to be punished again. And look at that, have a shot time. 14 seconds. Started actually 36. after the interval at 13. He's obviously slowing down a bit. Yeah. 
I tell you what, I hope he's enjoying this because if he's not, then <laughs> what is the point, really? This is how everybody who's ever picked up a cue dreams of playing snooker. 44. Yeah, I mean, I used to be quite good at snooker myself, but this is this is just another... The, as you say, the speed 49. that he's doing it and the control of the cue ball, the striking of the cue ball... 50. ...is just, as I said before, perfection. Another little glance at the scoreboard 57. tells him this is frame ball for 4-1. 58. That was funny because as soon as he hit this, the cue ball, there was a, a little grimace because he knew he'd overhit it. He was in the blue. 63. Positional play of Ronnie O'Sullivan is you're dealing in millimetres of precision. I mean, this wasn't the easiest 16. chance when it came. It's made it look easy. Seventy-two. Well, it's the great thing about sport. I think if you weren't watching, you might not believe it. Forty-eight years of age, but still somehow the youngest man on tour. The blue drops. Of course, it does. Seventy-seven. He wouldn't dare not. So Ding had the chance, it didn't come to much. In step Ronnie O'Sullivan. And once again he punishes with great finesse. A clearance of brilliance from O'Sullivan to lead 4 1. He's just two away from the title. So another thrilling frame. And uh, I got so excited there. I said he was two away from the title. Of course, the final is what he's playing for. But in this mood, well, of course, Judd Trump is Thank the you, man. Six. Who would have Ronnie to face O'Sullivan. him tomorrow? He's beaten him in seven finals, Trump. But O'Sullivan has really hit the heights here tonight. 90 the clearance. Two away then from what would be a dream affair tomorrow for snooker fans. They've not played since the Champion of Champions final, actually, last season. Been getting some good support here. He's a very popular character, and of course, people would like to see a close match, but it's just the odd error here and there. It's not a lot really that's costing him. He's one one frame and he's got a live pot success of 97%. But unfortunately, he's come up against a brick wall tonight. This black is tough as well. And the position's not guaranteed, actually. Yeah, that's on the break. Good pot. It's eight points and try and hide that cue ball now. Eight. I think against a lot of other Ding players, Ding would be playing that Eight. red into the pack, trying to get the cue ball on the bolt cushion, open the reds. But I just can't afford to do it against Ronnie. Because anything Ronnie's seeing now, he's potting. Again, it's about how brave do you want to be, how thick the contact do you want to make on this pack. Well, I'm sure the plan wasn't to hit it as thick as that. It wasn't easy from where the cue ball was. As I say, he's come up against a brick wall tonight. One. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the thing is, you know, even if O'Sullivan's level was to slightly dip, he's still playing at such a level that you could still see him winning comfortably. At the moment, he's playing about as well as you can. Bang in already here with another Six. chance for a break. His focus has been exemplary. He's got such respect for Ding as well. We heard in the interviews before, and it was nice the way they spoke about each other. So he was always going to play properly and treat it as the big occasion that it is. But that's bad news for Ding. Seven. Yeah, a lesson in break building for any budding snooker players want to learn the game straight away from the blue. It was after the red that was just stopping the black being potable to both corner pockets. 14. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Yeah, just watch the tip of Ronnie's cue. Just watch it go through the cue ball. It's just beautiful to watch. It goes through at a beautiful pace. There's no rush. It's just 30. timing at its best. 31. It's almost as if the, the tip of the cue is sort of stuck to the cue ball. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Nicely on the blue. Not sure if you can go into the pack directly. Yeah, he can. And he's okay. It's looking ominous again for Ding. Fifty-two. Well, we've been going an hour exactly, and O'Sullivan has the balls at his mercy for a 5-1 lead. 53. 53. Again, just one error, a safety error this time. 60. It's actually quite rare. 61. As a snooker player that you get nights like this, even for Ronnie. The standards that he set, this is... This is right up there with some of his best ever performances, certainly that I've witnessed. 68. Just one of those nights where the pockets look huge. 69. And that air of the cue ball that you need to strike looks huge. You can't miss it. You can't miss the point that you're striking on the cue ball. You just see everything so clearly. <laughs> Called the zone. 76. Already made two centuries this evening. And a great chance for a third, just underlining the extraordinary quality of this performance. 84. 85. And maybe it's the case that because he is capable of being this good, when he 92. doesn't reach this level all the time, that's why he does get 93. on his own case. But no one can play like this every day. Yeah, I, I hope he 
he doesn't sort of top down this performance tonight because I think everyone that's watching on TV and in the, in the arena tonight has ex is experiencing something special. He's making this game look ridiculously easy. As I say, it's the way he's feeling, it's almost like he's playing on a, a nine ball pool table. Well, this is the 29th century's made 108. in this tournament over the years. The player who's made the most with 30 is a certain Judd Trump. And tomorrow, it could well be an exhibition of great building. He's not through yet, but, well, <laughs> if he doesn't win this match, it will be the most remarkable comeback, surely. One hundred and seventy. One hundred and twenty-two. He said at the Masters, O'Sullivan, that he's been chasing perfection. That's why he keeps playing. Well, tonight he's come close to finding it. Oh! But he misses the last crack. One hundred and twenty-eight. His third century of the night, Ronnie O'Sullivan, after an hour and four minutes play, is one away from the final of the World Grand Prix, leading 5-1. The old mistake, yes, but in general, it's been all about his opponent tonight. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 97% on pot success, 98% in live play. Average <laughs> shot you, time, seven. 13 seconds, three He's centuries, two of the frame winning breaks. 5-1, the lead, one more needed to reach the final and take on Judd Trump on Sunday. Eight. Nine. For once, the cue ball disobeys him. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 14. And again, Ding not, not given anything really. The safety massively favouring O'Sullivan also in this match. Well, this is pressure now, the reds everywhere. And Sullivan just looking for one chance, you feel, to kill it off. Explain how difficult it is. Thank for you. Games That'll to do. Tonight, as I say, 
he's been just put under the ultimate test as a snooker player. Every facet of his game has been put under the microscope. And One. It's been slim pickings, really, in terms of chances to score. Maybe a brave person to suggest that this wouldn't be the beginning of the end of this match right here. Six. You wouldn't say that Ding's played badly or made loads of mistakes tonight. He's just been up against well, the snooker machine. Machine. Seven. It's not actually the best way of describing it because a machine sort of suggests it's robotic. It's anything but that. It's just, it's just beautiful to watch. Genius is what it is. Eleven. Twelve. Remember, only two players have beaten him all season: Jang Ander twice, Lu Haishan. Can Judd Trump add his name to that list? We know he's capable, but if he's watching this, and I suspect he will be, he knows he's going to have to 19. produce his best tomorrow. It promises to be a fabulous occasion. 20. Yeah, we've seen Judd last night in the semi-final. first three frames, he looked back to his best. He was awesome. I think it sort of dragged back a little bit into... Well, just a, a game they didn't really want to play, but he's going to need that form that he's shown in the first three frames to compete if Ronnie maintains this standard. 25. I mean, if Ronnie maintains this standard, he wins, there's no doubt about it, because you can't compete with this. 26. But if Judd's any chance, as I said, he's got to be at his best. 33 34 41 42 49. Two more pots needed. 50. Well, what are you supposed to do in the face of this? 57. This match has lasted 70 minutes. 58. The truth is a snooker table He's just a snooker table until Ronnie O'Sullivan walks towards it. And then it becomes a canvas for his unique artistry. And what 65. a picture he's painted this evening. Simply sensational. 66. 66. Yeah, and I say, even Ronnie can't play like this 73. every day, every match. This has just been a special performance. 74. Everything is just sort of slotted into place. He obviously just feels very comfortable playing Ding Jun Wei, which is unfortunate for Ding. 81. 82. For O'Sullivan, it will be a 63rd ranking final. Yeah, it's not quite the century yet. It's 103 points, but the brakes are 89. 89. But you can't blame people for getting excited. My word, if you didn't get excited about this, you're watching the wrong sport. 90. Thank you.
97. So the green 99. to finish with a fourth century and complete. Just a wonderful, wonderful performance. One hundred and six. One hundred and eleven. It's getting better. Right at the death. What an extraordinary performance that was from the great Ronnie O'Sullivan. He concludes victory with a fourth century to defeat Ding Junhui by frames to one. So the World Grand Prix final. Is Ronnie O'Sullivan against Judd Trump? That is what Snooker Sundays are made of.